Two blown opportunities to put this series away, and despite 92 shots on goal, the Caps had just two goals to show for it in the pair of losses. Back at Kettler Iceplex today, the Caps took the ice for an optional practice before their Game 7 showdown tomorrow night. We're confident. We, you know, like, like I said earlier, we've been in this situation before. And, um, you know, this is a matter of, of rising to the occasion now. And, and, you know, in the past, we, we, we've done so um, against New York, and at least since I've been here. So um, we, know, we know what to expect. We just have to go and execute tomorrow. We've tried to have killer instinct the last couple of games, and you know I thought we played pretty well. But I think we're gonna have to try to step it up uh, one more level, and, and hopefully be able to get the first goal. I think that's gonna be key first morning. You, you, you dream about the Stanley Cup, and and uh, you know it's it's pretty uh, laid out for us right now. And I think that we need to to really get to work. Uh, last night it was black, and um, we threw everything at him. And he made some great saves, but uh, you know it's. It's us too. We we're getting quality chances. We just have to make sure that that we're putting them in. And um, you know, it's unfortunate when a goalie stands on his head. It kind of deflates it. But um, you know, that just built up our momentum for tomorrow night. The locker room was mixed today on how exactly to solve Halak. But one thing that rookie John Carlson told me was that it'll be good for this team to finally have their backs against the wall in a game seven. Covering the Washington Capitals, Kelly Cowan, Comcast Sportsnet.